Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we're going to look at how we can install and use OpenAI Whisper AI. With Whisper, you can transcribe speech to text. It produces high quality results. It works with over 96 different languages and it's free to use. In this video, we're going to install it on a Windows PC. Let's check this out. To get Whisper AI working on our computer, we need to meet a few requirements. First is Python. You can use this video to install Python on your machine. I have Python version 3.12. Next, we need to install PyTorch. Links to all the software are in the description below. PyTorch is a machine learning library. On their site, under Start Locally, we select the stable version. Right here, we choose our operating system. Then the package manager, pip is Python's package manager. For the language, we'll use Python. We choose the compute platform. If you have a high-end graphics card in your computer, like the NVIDIA graphics card. Otherwise, you can select CPU. We can check the CUDA version with the following command. Once you make all these selections here, let's copy this command down below. Back in command prompt, you can press Ctrl V or right click and paste the command that we just copied. Simply press enter to install it. We will let this install and it looks like it has successfully installed. Now we will download a package manager called Chocolatey and this will work on Windows. On the top right hand corner, let's click on the install. This brings us to the download page. Here we will select individual. If we go down a little bit more, we will see a text box. Let's click into this and then select copy. On your Windows desktop, search for PowerShell. Right click on PowerShell and then select run as administrator. This now opens up PowerShell. You can press Ctrl V or paste in the command that we just copied from Chocolatey. Here press enter and this will go through and install Chocolatey. Now that we've finished installing Chocolatey, we're going to use the Chocolatey Package Manager to install FFmpeg. And we're going to use FFmpeg to read the different audio files. In PowerShell, enter the following command and then hit enter. This will now install the package. Here I'll click on yes and here it looks like FFmpeg was successfully installed. Back in the command prompt, we will install the last requirement Whisper AI. To install it, we will enter the following pip install command, then press enter. This will now go through and install Whisper AI. Congratulations, we have now finished installing all of the prerequisites to run Whisper AI. Next, navigate to the folder that has all of your different audio files. This will work with WAV files, MP3, MP4, all types of audio, and also video files. Within File Explorer, we launch the command prompt. This opens up the command prompt, and we're currently in the same directory that has our audio files. We're now ready to transcribe our first audio file. To run Whisper, simply type in Whisper space, and then type in the file name. Here, I'll type in sample.mp3. Let's now hit enter and this will start running Whisper AI. On the first run, it will download the Whisper model on our machine. Let the download complete. Model download is complete. One of the really neat things is here you see that it automatically detects the language used. Right down below, I can see the audio transcribed to text that makes up this file. So it looks like it has successfully transcribed the file. Back into File Explorer and we see new files. They all include the transcript. We can open a file to see the transcript. Let's now go back to the command prompt to see how we can transcribe another file. Just like we did before, let's type in whisper and I'll type in the file name. You can insert a space and then another file name to transcribe multiple files. And just like that, it has now finished transcribing the file. These are the various Whisper models available. You can use the one that matches your VRAM specifications. By default, the models are saved in the following directory. This is the file path on Windows. You can get the model name from here. 
We don't see it when it downloads via command prompt. Let's make a note of it. Let's use the Whisper model programmatically. We will use Python. To run the model, I have a Jupyter Notebook. I will import the Whisper library. Using this library, we can load the Whisper model. Now we provide the audio file path. We invoke the transcribe method from the model and provide it to our file. We can print the transcribed text to view. There you have it. This is how we use Whisper via Python. We will use this in the next few videos to develop a local voice assistant. Stay tuned. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.